leave this card lying around. Hi, Lily. You here to take me into custody? Please, let me explain that note. You don't have to. I understand. I'm just sensitive because I am guilty. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm guilty of being a terrible daughter. I've been a jerk to my dad all year. And now I might never... I might never talk to him again. Anything I can do to help? Well, actually, there is something I need. Just name it. There is a very special fungus that only grows in damp parts of the questionable area. Say no more. I'm on it. Thanks, Raz. Hi, Lily. Hey. You'll talk to him again. How can you be so sure, Raz? I just know. I wish I did. My psychic senses tell me that something is really wrong with him. I've been reaching out and reaching out, and he's just not there. Why do you feel like you've been a jerk? He made me go to Whispering Rock, even though I thought it was kid stuff. I was mad, and the last thing I said to him was, I never want to follow in your footsteps. I say that to my dad every day. Well, at least your dad's awake and you can go apologize, unlike mine. That's why I have to fix him. That can't be the last thing I say to him. Who do you think is the mole? I haven't even had time to think about that. All I really want to think about right now is my father. What do you think of these interns? Oh, the new kids? Honestly, I haven't paid too much attention to them. I'm just so focused on my dad right now. So the casino mission was pretty exciting. I'm sure it was, Raz. I'll read the debrief later. But right now, I need to focus on my dad. I'll check in with you later, all right? Don't worry about your dad. He'll be okay. I hope so. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, Gisu. Rasputin Aquato, say, you seem like the reckless and resourceful type. I have a challenge that I think is perfect for a young man of your disposition. Interested? Whatever it is, I'm into it. Wow, even more reckless than I thought. Impressive. Here's the issue. My mentor, Otto Mentalis, deployed several psychoseismometers like this one to detect and collect negative psychic residue. Problem is, he kind of forgot about them for a long time. So now they're all overloaded and unstable. I thought instead of me going around venting all these nasty things and stealing all the glory, you want me to do it? For extra credit, you're welcome. And to free me up for more high-minded engineering work. Okay. Come on, rep. Wait, you said yes? All right, good man. <laughs> well, if you survive, be sure to report back, okay? Hey, guys. Uh, busted. Now we've got to burn this site and find a new base of operations. What? Pirate radio, Gisu. Gotta be ready to bug out in 30 seconds flat if you feel the heat around the corner. Relax, Morris. I'm not a narc. Exactly what a narc would say. Do you know where the psycho-isolation chamber is? Ooh, are you trying to steal Lizzie's mentor, Compton Bull? No. So you're happy with Nick from the mailroom? Of course. Everybody loves Nick. Where'd you get the radio? Gisu fixed up Coach's old transmitter and made it more powerful. Just be careful you don't fall asleep on that thing and broadcast your dreams out to the world. Who would ever be dumb enough to do that? Meh. So why a radio station, Morris? Shouldn't you be working with Mia? Mia wants me to learn how to reach out into the world. And this is how I'm gonna do it, with radio. Have you told her about this yet? No, I'm waiting until we get back our first ratings report so I can show her how effective it is. Okay, I need to go report my findings to the radio police. Haha. <laughs> Anyone want to see my oarsman's badge? No? looking for something. What was it? Oh, right! A brain for Nick, so I can get in to see Ford, and to keep Nick from getting his head caught in the stamper again. Yep. 
doesn't look like a death trap to me. Yet. Just gently release the... Ooh. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Uh-oh. It's accessed some sort of fight-or-flight center in my own brain. Oh, man. I wish I had a side pop right now. Gently release the... Oh, uh-oh. It's access some sort of fight-or-flight center in my own brain. I choose fight. Longer with my clairvoyance. Oh man, I wish I had a sight. Almost had it. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. Machines are more work than I expected, but it looks more stable now. Thank <laughs> you. 
like the Aquato family circus has traveled through here all right. Yep, we had to hightail it out into the woods because you're ashamed of being an Aquato. I'll stop being ashamed of that. If you stop being ashamed of being a psychic. <laughs> oh, you're asking for it, Raspy. Frazy, it's okay. You can tell Dad now. You don't have to hide anymore. <sighs> this is your last warning. Frazy? <sighs> Ow! More where that came from. My family has chosen where to set up the Aquato Dome. Over there, Raspy. They're in the campgrounds. Man, this part of the woods is giving me the heebie jeebies for some reason. I wonder what's back here. It's so spooky. There's probably nothing interesting. Holy honeycombs! That's a big beehive! These woods sure are disorienting. Wait a second. What am I doing out here again? in the forgetful forest? Ah. Bees, is this the big scary thing that lurks in the forgetful forest? Ah. 
Did I take a wrong turn? Oh. Ooh, a funicular. I mean, who doesn't love those? Don't even think about getting on that funicular before you visit your family. I'll take that card. Ah, kids today. lying around. Waterfall, go see your family. Sidecar, go see mom in the campgrounds. She's worried sick about. You. Morris Martinez, and you're listening to Kate Creepy. There you are. Aw, oh, man. You found my private dancing place. Sorry. Too late. You ruined it. Our uh, mom's looking for you. What? There are no rules in horseshoes. Just the shoe, the stake, and your mind. so bad, why not start spying on your family over in the campgrounds? There better be a real Yeti in here or I want my money back. totally win because Nessie is real. I'm starting to see why this questionable area went out. What are you listening to? Some local radio station. I have no idea where it's coming from, but I love it. Oh, can I listen to it with you? No. Thank <laughs> you. 
forgive you. Mom? I mean, if little children never ran away from home, where would the circus get her workers, huh? Uh... What matters is that the Aquatos are all together again. And this little adventure of yours has actually given me fresh inspiration for our act. Me too! Did you see that unnatural and slightly gimmicky waterfall over there? The one flowing upside down? Stay away from it. No water. Too late, Nona. It has already watered the flower of inspiration in my heart and blossomed in two. Guess what I called it. Guess. The upside down waterfall? The devil's fire hose. Let's show our runaway how we do it, everybody. Creepy on the bottom. This would be easier if you didn't use so much hair grease. It'd be easier if your head weren't so pointy. Now, Rasputin, up top you go. Yes, son. And then you could add a little psychic flourish by levitating this pine cone. No, no. Then we pass each person up the tower like water flowing. No psychic flourishes. I told you. We are acrobats. We don't do parlor tricks. Uh, guys? Why not a little of both? Hops. Oh, getting. You guys! Oh, shush! This is why we taught you how to fall as babies. <sighs> it's no use. We need the Aquatodon. <laughs> I'm on it. Help him out, would you, Pooty? He's had to take on so much extra work since you abandoned your family and broke our hearts. That's a good boy. If there's one thing the Aquatos know how to do, it's making themselves at home. Anywhere. Hey, Mom. Hmm. Oh, yes, Rasputin? Sorry about running away. It's okay, Rasputin. I blame myself. Really? Why? I forgot to latch your door that night. You... you latch our door at night? From the outside? Only since Queepy started sleepwalking. What you doing? I'm trying to perfect the devil's fire hose, of course. It's a risky one, but I think this might be the spectacle that puts the Aquatos back on top. Top of what? Top of the acrobatic world, Rasputin. As the Aquatos once were before the curse. Who cursed us? Too many questions. Stay away from the water. That's all we don't need to know. I stopped arguing with that woman long ago. Can I ask you about the curse? Not too loud. You know your father doesn't like to talk about it. But as you know, a cruel fortune teller cursed our family, Raz. Every Aquato for all time is cursed to die in water. That is why we had to leave our grand aquatic circus behind and start again at the bottom in this humble family troop. We may not have water anymore, but we still have the most important thing, right? We still have... Family. Highly stretchable ligaments! Oh, yes, and family. You know, Agent Forsyth is a very important psychonaut. And she's really cool, actually. I think you'd really like each other if you hung out. The woman in the suit? Ugh, we get along just fine. As long as we keep our distance. A circus can only have one prima donna. Can I help? Yes! Tell me how to make the Devil's Fire Hose reach even greater heights! How about some sight? Finish that sentence, and it will kill your mother, Rasputin. What if we incorporate animals into the act? Overall, children are cheaper and slightly cleaner. 
seems like doing the trick horizontally would be safer. Safety doesn't fill seats, Rasputin. What if everyone were singing? Ugh, I'd rather die in water. Maybe if everyone stood on tippy toes? Everyone is already stretched to their full height. I should know. I stretch them every day. Chainsaws? Who will pay for the gasoline, darling? What if we set everyone's costumes on fire? Very exciting. But these are the only costumes we have, Rasputin. Blindfolds? We tried that before. Remember the big pink eye epidemic? Shut us down for a week. Well, that's all the ideas I got. Sorry. Hmm. You really want to help me? Go find your brother, Queepy. He's wandered off again. Okay, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. Uh-huh. Remember, every time you lie, it takes a day off your mother's life. Nice trick, Tala. Is Nona looking? Yes, and she looks really impressed. <laughs> Hi, Nona. Oh, hello, my sweet little turnip. Are you comfortable? Do you need anything? I'm happy as long as I'm with my family. Aren't you cold out here in the woods? Ugh, oh, please. I'm from Grulovia. This is nothing. Can I ask you about the curse? Don't go near the water. Yes, I know about that part, but then you know the whole thing. All you need to know. Do you hate psychics as much as mom? You mean fortune tellers? Like the Galunkios, the ones who cursed us? They are not neutral. They are not trustworthy. Nona, who's your favorite grandchild? It's me, right? Oh, of course, you are my favorite. My sweet little Dion. Well, I gotta go back to my spy stuff. Good boy. Now don't get a big head. Hi, Nona. Oh, hello, my sweet little turnip. Well, I gotta go back to my spy.
want to dance with you. I need my me time. Focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. Children under three must be tethered to an adult. Oh, man, that smell! I 
think it's not running right now for some reason. That's right. Now, where's the rest of it? Looks like there's just one more part to find. This guy is overstated. Well, I mean, in their defense, they're not called fasting killers. Whee! Here we go! Panicular! Fireworks went down instead of up. That's one rank up for me. One new home for you, side challenge marker. This is such a misunderstanding of Titanium, I can't even bear to... This titanium is fake. I'll take that card.
like this is Lily's very special fungus. I'll just bring a little bit back for her. Hope this helps her treat her dad. Don't worry about Hey, what's that? Hey, Dion. Mm-hmm. Mom told me you needed help. With what? Reading crystal balls? Beat it, Nostra dumbass. Looks like you need someone to release the ropes. I'll just pop up there and take care of it. Oh, really, Mr. Mental? You think you even remember how to be an acrobat? You'll see. Don't you think it's time to get over your anti-psychic stuff? I will when it stops hurting our family. Dad's a psychic. It's a phase. Frazy's a psychic. Oh, that's a great example. Yeah, we should all be more like Frazy. Ow! You wish you could be more like me. <laughs> How long are you planning on being mad like this? Forever! Do you even realize what you've done? To the Aquato name? The psychics? Fortune tellers? You let out our family's worst secret. This family has too many secrets. We'll be better off when they're all out. We'll be better off when you're out. Dion. Bye, Dion. Okay, so that creepy mind stuff did save a little time. But I still don't have to like it. Deal. And you're welcome! Seeing the old Aquato Dome again reminds me of a trick Dion taught me once. Again, neither were our audiences. I'm just happy that it's not made of meat. Yep.
pretty to leave out here. Hey, Dion. Mm-hmm. Bye, Dion. Yes, Rasputin? Dion seems really mad at me. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll get over your betrayal of the family soon. I didn't betray the family. Listen, your father raised you all to mistrust and dislike fortune tellers. You mean psychics. Mental tricksters. And now your father has this change of heart. Suddenly everything Dion knows to be true is wrong. I'll tell you how to fix things between you. How? Help him with his chores. Go. Why did Dad raise all of us to hate psychics? Acrobats and fortune tellers have one of the great rivalries of the circus. One side uses skill and passion to bring thrills and joy to people's hearts. And the other bends spoons and curses whole families to die in water. But you say you are a psychic now. So we are all being very broad-minded. I am a psychic. So's dad, and so's fr- Ow! Yes, and I still love you all. But please, don't rub my nose in it, Rasputin. How do you feel about dad being psychic? Every family has its secrets. The trick is to hide your shame away where no one can see it. That doesn't sound very healthy. It's smoking! Hey, everybody! My pine cone is- Oh, never mind. That's my thumb. Does that sound healthy to you? Okay, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. Uh-huh. Remember, every time you lie, it takes a day off your mother's life. 